Hey brother, welcome to day 28 of 40 Days of Light. Let's make this a Mr. Rogers moment. Here you have a simple greeting card, just a flat piece of cardboard. But inside, guess what you have? You have a greenhouse that grows a garden of beautiful things. Well, that's what I want to talk with you about today. No matter what the culture says, it's not going to be much support to you in the most important work that you have to do, which is the work of the home and specifically the work of your marriage. And one of the things that happens in marriage is that we fall into the world's pattern that says, well, if you give 50% and I give 50%, we'll all meet in the middle. But that never works because nobody knows how to measure that. Nobody knows how to account for what you've given. And even if you've given your full 50%, it may not have registered with your partner. So the way that marriage succeeds is that we each give 100% all the time. We totally commit to what we need to do. And we, in that way, grow a garden of good things in the culture. Years ago, this is an old song, but it's by Neil Diamond and Barbara Streisand. It goes like this. You don't bring me flowers. You don't sing me love songs. You hardly talk to me anymore when you come through the door at the end of the day. It used to be so natural to talk about forever, but used to bees don't count anymore. They just lay on the floor till we sweep them away. And baby, I remember all the things you taught me. I learned how to laugh and I learned how to cry. Well, I learned how to love, but you don't bring me flowers anymore. One of the things that we stop doing in our anger and frustration about the direction the culture's going in the newscasts that just that gin up our adrenaline and our rage about what's going on is we forget as men to take some things home to make that first two minutes when we greet our wife at home something that gives life to her or asks a question of her or evokes her gifting this is what we need to do to have that greenhouse that creates an environment where not only our wives, but our children and anybody who enters really can thrive. Here's what it says in Proverbs chapter 24, verse 30. I went past the field of a sluggard, past the vineyard of a man who lacks judgment. Thorns had come up everywhere. The ground was covered with weeds and the stone wall was in ruins. I applied my heart to what I observed and learned a lesson from what I saw. A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest, and poverty will come on you like a bandit and scarcity like an armed man. Every man knows if you don't maintain it, it will rust, weeds will grow, dandelions will take over your yard. It will not be what it was supposed to be. So my appeal to you today, with Mother's Day coming up at the end of this week, is that we turn our hearts toward home. No matter what the political environment is, no matter what's happening outside the walls, we have an opportunity to be an outpost for Christ, an outpost for God, to, to be those who are uh, saboteurs of, of the main media message, which is to be individualists and not care about anybody else. So today, as you think about your home, your, your wife, your children, let's, let's build greenhouses like that. People won't notice it from the outside, but everybody inside will know you're growing a beautiful garden. So God bless you as you do that.